And next up, let's talk about how to get a girl's number. And before I talk about how to get a girl's number, let's first talk about why to get a girl's number. Now, for a lot of you, it may seem obvious. Like, I want to get a number because like, that's a successful interaction. Or I want to get a, a number because um, that's how you get to the date, etc. And that's partially true. But what I want to indicate first is understand that the phone number is not the primary objective. You should not go into talking with a girl hoping to get a phone number or thinking of that as the outcome you have in mind. The real outcome you have in mind is ideally taking the girl home right then and there. Or maybe taking the girl on an instant date and then home right then and there. Because if you get a phone number, you follow up with a date, you're going to have to spend a certain amount of time with the girl anyway. Okay? You may as well spend that time with her right there when you and her are present in that moment. Okay? You avoid a lot of flakiness, you'll avoid a lot of bullshit, avoid um, potentially getting into the dating frame and going on multiple dates. You avoid a lot of things that get in your way if you just continue the action right then and interaction right then and there. Um, however, a lot of people are so into taking the set and creating a victory out of it that they, they end up getting the phone number, which is the small victory, instead of pulling, which is the bigger victory. They're so, um, so keen to, I, I think a lot of guys, when they go in and start talking with a girl, their objective is just to feel good about the interaction, feel like she liked me and I achieved something. And when you go in and you get a phone number, you can convince yourself that she liked you and you achieved something. But a lot of times that victory is actually a failure to have tried for something more. So understand that. Understand that the ideal is not the phone number. Also understand that the objective when getting a phone number is not to get 10 digits in your phone. It's to have a girl somewhere out there in the world who is deeply interested in seeing you. So the phone number itself isn't the, the result that you're looking for. The phone number is a, uh, a byproduct of that result, but the result is the girl who's deeply into you. So you want to make sure that you not just get phone numbers, but get solid good phone numbers that are going to lead to dates. OK, so what leads to a solid phone number? There are a few criteria that are important. First is she has to see value in you. And ideally, she should see either so much value in you or she should see value in you in such a way that she views continuing the interaction with you as a win, OK? Not as a loss. It shouldn't be a situation where it's like, oh, he's kind of cute. He you know, talked to me and flirted with me. And if I, I might give in and go with him if I have nothing better to do. That's not a very good outcome. The best outcome is this guy's amazing. I really want to see him again. I hope he calls me. I really hope that he, I, he likes me enough to call me because I really want to see him. I'm really invested in this because we have something special or because um, he's just like the hottest, best guy or whatever other reason, okay? So you want that deep motivation behind it. In order for that to happen, you need to A, either be very high value or B, have a plot line or have some sort of dynamic or some sort of like narrative in the set that allows her, <coughs> excuse me, that allows her to believe that you are very, very special. The second thing that's going to help is if she believes that she is special to you. She believes it's genuine. She doesn't want to be just the next notch on your bedpost. She doesn't want to be the girl that like you had the outcome of picking her up and you succeeded in picking her up. She wants to be the girl who won you over in some way, shape, or form. And that's why uh, qualification is so important. Now, we haven't really addressed qualification so far in this, in this course, so I'm going to address it a little bit here. Qualification, basically, is the idea that she earned you in some way, ideally some way other than just physical appearance. So if you walk up to her and you're like, hey, I like you, I think you're cute, what's your number? And she gives you a number. You don't know anything about her, and she knows you don't know anything about her, so she knows it's just because of her physical appearance. And she knows that any other equally hot girl on the entire planet has just as good a chance with you as she does at that point. So it's not really that special to her. But if, on the other hand, you go and talk to her and you find out, oh, you're into this thing that I'm also into, that's really cool. Oh, wait, you put yourself through school and did these other amazing things and have accomplished this, that, and the other. Once you've found something special about her, or once you've found a reason why there's chemistry between the two of you, now it's very easy for her to justify that it's special and the interaction will mean a lot more to her. Right? Especially, even better yet, is if it appears that at first you didn't like her that much, or at first you weren't sure about her, and then she won you over. Because people always value the things they earn more than the things that are given to them. Okay? So this is a basic idea of, of the, uh, or a basic view of the idea of qualification. It's so, so, so important that you qualify at least a little bit when you're getting a number. So much so that like, if I'm getting a phone number, let's like, say I only have 30 seconds, I can't even have a real interaction, 
as I'm getting the number, I'll be like, wait, 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 do you live near this part of the city? And they'll be like, yes. Yeah. So I'll be like, okay, cool. Then maybe we could hang out. Okay, cool. That's not a really great qualifier, but at least I qualified them in some way. At least I got some kind of confirmation it could work out. And that in and of itself will make things a little bit more solid. Okay? So the more that you can appear like a win to her, the more you can be super high value, and the more that you can qualify her, the more solid the number is going to be. All right, so now we know why you get a number. Let's get into the technical details of exactly how to get a number. The most important part is just ask. Okay, when I first started out in game, I did exactly two things right. I would walk up and talk to every attractive girl I saw, and every single time at the end of the interaction, I would say, it was nice talking to you, what's your number? That phrase became a habit for me. If I walked up and she's like, oh, I don't have time to talk, I'd be like, oh, well, that's okay. It was nice talking to you. What's your number? I literally would close off of that. I closed every single time. I didn't consider it an interaction unless I had asked for a number. All right? So that's the first and foremost thing to getting numbers is you must ask pretty much always. Right? Any set where there's any kind of realistic chance at all you might possibly get a number, you should be asking. All right? But let's talk a little bit about how to make that number solid and the procedure you should actually follow when getting numbers. First and maybe most important part is this. When you exchange numbers, get your number in her phone with a name attached to it. Super, super, super critical. Because what you don't want is later on, you know, a few days or a week or whatever, um, when you're texting back and forth, probably it should be a few days and we'll talk about that as well in a later section. Um, but you don't want to text and you get the text back, who is this? that's not what you want to receive. Or if you call and she goes, who is this? Or she's even worse, she just screens your call and doesn't pick up because it's an unknown number. All right, that's what you want to avoid. So get your number in her phone. There are a variety of ways to do this. One way is take her phone, put your save, save yourself as a contact, and then text yourself from her phone. That's one very, very good way. Another way is to text her your name and then tell her to save it, that sort of thing. At the very least, even if you don't tell her to save it, at least text her something with your name, ideally maybe your name in some way to remember you, something like that, so that she has your number in her phone. Now, I don't believe in getting too super cute with this or trying to like send like the world's most brilliant message, um, only because you should have done a good enough job in the initial interaction that she's looking forward to hearing from you and um, she'll know who you are, at least you know within five to 10 minutes or an hour of, of when you actually talk to her. All right, so you wanna get that uh, message through to her with your name on it, whether it's saving it in her phone or sending a message through your name, however it is, get your number and name in her phone. That is super, super, super critical. All right, next, try and stay five minutes or so beyond the time you get the phone number if possible. Now, this may not always be possible. A lot of times the reason you're taking a phone number at all is because um, the interaction had to end, like she was running off somewhere, or friends like pulled her away or whatever it is. Uh, and so you don't have the, the luxury of having that five minute conversation after, but if you can, do so. Because everything that you've done prior to getting her number is a conversation you had as strangers. Everything you do after getting her number is a conversation you now have as friends and as people who have agreed that maybe they want to hang out. And so there will be a lot more depth in that interaction. And the time that she spends talking to you under that premise is going to really build comfort and is really going to like cement in her mind the idea that you're people who like each other, people who are going to hang out, people that have a future together. So those five minutes after the number are hyper, hyper critical. In fact, uh, most of comfort is built over time, but I would almost prefer uh, five minutes after like maybe a quick two minute number then having half an hour to get the number and then having to rush off right afterwards that five minutes post number is so 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 critical to avoiding flaking so if you can stay a few minutes just have conversation have normal chit chat whatever it doesn't have to be super sexual in fact even trying to get sexual might be a bad idea at that point because you're not going to have sex with her right then and there but do spend that time after the number just talking to her just interacting making it more normal Next, and we talked about this earlier, qualify the girl. It is so, so, so important that she feels like she earned your respect and your admiration and you taking her phone number as opposed to it was an objective for you, okay? So do what you can to try and make her jump through your hoops. A uh, good exercise, and we actually uh, will probably do this in uh, one of the exercises sections of this course, is to make a list of five non-physical qualities you would like in a girl and then when you're talking to the girl, actually evaluate her on those qualities. Uh, is she smart? 
Uh, is she ambitious? Does she go to the gym? Does she work out? Does she take care of herself? Does she like do her makeup well and like present a good appearance to the world? Or is she like chill and, chill and relax? Does she have a good sense of humor? Whatever your particular values are, whatever it is you want in a girl, you should be screening for that. You should be looking for those characteristics. Even, by the way, if you're looking for a one-night stand, um, and this is off the topic of numbers, but even if you're looking for a one-night stand, you should be screening for things that are likely for that or that are good for a one-night stand. So if I'm screening for that, I'd be screening for are you adventurous, um, are you like, um, you know, sexually open and like enjoying new experiences, or are you uptight, that kind of stuff. Whatever the type of relationship you want, you should be screening in some way. And especially if you're going to be doing phone number follow-up and having to make it solid, screening and qualifying and making her prove herself to you in some way, super, super, super critical. Also, remember it conveys all those attractive qualities, abundance, selectivity, all those things that an alpha male would have. So that actually increases your value as well at the same time. Next thing that is critically important in getting a phone number that's actually going to follow through and make plans with you is that you have plausible plans at the time of getting the phone number. So for example, if you've already talked to the girl and said, you know what, it'd be fun to grab a drink with you, and she says yes, and then you say, okay, let's do numbers, that's a more solid number than just if out of nowhere you say, hey, what's your number, and then you never discuss any kind of plans in the rest of the interaction, okay? So if there's an understanding that you want to get together, and that's the reason you're getting the number, that's better than if you just got the number without that. In fact, the ideal reason and the ideal way to get a phone number is this. You and she really desperately want to hang out, but there's something in the world that's just keeping you apart. Like she has to get to her job, or like her friend's dying in the hospital, or you're rushing off to something and can't spend time with her right then and there. And the idea is, you and she have kind of de decided and agreed you really like each other, you'd like to hang out as soon as possible, and there's some urgency behind it, right? There's a specific idea, a specific plan, and some urgency. When that's the case, that's gonna be a very solid number. When any of that's not in place, it's going to be less solid. So you wanna make sure that that's the case. Again, the key premise, and we've talked about this many times, but I'm going to reiterate it, is you don't want the 10 digits, you want the invested girl that has given you the 10 digits. Next, let's get to the specifics of exactly how to ask for the number. And the key thing here is be assumptive. Act like you expect to hear yes. Okay, a lot of guys, they say, can I have your phone number? That is a yes or no question that has a very easy no answer. It also is putting you in the frame that her phone number is this gift that she's bestowing on you and you'd be lucky to get it. It's a terrible, terrible phrase, but guys say it all the time. Every time I hear it, I cringe. Like, can I have your phone number? I'm like, oh God, no, I didn't want to hear that, okay? Better, what's your phone number? What's your phone number? right? It's assumptive. What's your phone number is not a yes or no question. You can't go, what's your phone number? She goes, no. It doesn't even make sense as part of English speech, right? Now she can object to it, but you've made it harder for her to object than not. To. You've made it easier for her to give the number, and that's what you want to set up. It also is conveying all the right things, which is that you're confident, you assume you're going to get it, it's just a natural part of the interaction, and not some gift she's bestowing on you. So, so, so critical. Like I said, that was my, my catchphrase back in the day. It was nice talking to you, what's your number? It was nice talking to you, what's your number? It was such a habit, okay? Um, but regardless, however you do it, make sure that it is assumptive in nature, okay? Very, very critical. It makes a big difference. Lastly, um, before you go for the number, in order to make it work well, um, number one, you want to have a decent interaction beforehand. So if I just walk up to a girl, I say, hi, I'm Todd, you seem cute, and she goes, hi, I'm Mary or Ashley, whatever her name is, and I go, cool, what's your number? There's not a lot behind that. I'm kind of opening with a close, and I'm just trusting that based on my physical appearance and the nonverbals of my first impression, she likes me enough to get a number. Rather, I should put in some time and let her get to know me, and then the more time she spends getting to know me, the more the interaction is good, the more solid the number is, and actually the more likely she is to give me a number in the first place. And there's a way to kind of gauge this, and that's called the soft close. So if you think that you've had a decent interaction, you think that you're at a place where um, you maybe could start closing for the number, what you would do is instead of just dropping in the what's your number, you might say, you know what, you seem like a really cool person, and see how she reacts. If she goes, you seem really cool also, probably she'll give you a number, right? At which point you'd say, you know what, it's too bad that we only have a couple minutes to talk. It'd be really cool if we could hang out some other time because I, I actually really enjoy the banter. And she'd be like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. And then you go, okay, cool, what's your number? Okay, cool, that sounds really cool. I guess we should exchange numbers. Does that make sense? So there's actually a logical reason why. Um, and also, because she's agreed to the things on the way to the number, it would make it very awkward for her not to do the number. So if you already agreed you like each other, you already agreed that it might be fun to hang out sometime, 
then it only makes sense to do the number. Whereas if you drop the number in out of nowhere, she's very likely to say no. Right? And the interesting thing is, um, going back to like, the theory of like, social capital, um, whenever you ask for something and hear no, it's going to get more and more difficult to get that thing to happen later. But whenever you're asking things and hearing yes along the way, it makes everything easier to hear yes to. So you're better off hearing yeses to a few small things along the way and then asking for what you actually want than you are trying directly for it, hearing no, and then making it a massive uphill battle to get there. So that's the idea of the soft close. All right. So that's some general ideas on how to get the number. But I want to reiterate to you the most important part, which is this. You should be at the minimum asking for a number in every single interaction that goes well at all. If it's a two minute interaction, five minute interaction, anything beyond just exchange of names and she leaves or she's blatantly bitchy to you, anything that's at all positive, you should be finishing it with, it was nice talking to you, what's your number? Or some other number close. You must be closing. So I'm going to show you some examples of getting numbers. And there are a few key points that I want to just have you pay attention to. One is that I always assume that it's going to happen as opposed to asking for it. It's always, what's your number? Or um, I'll text you or something like that. It's not, can I have your number? Or would you like to give me your number or something like that? You're never asking, you're telling and you're assuming. That's very, very critical. And then also notice um, what I do in terms of you know building a little comfort afterwards, qualifying the girl, those kind of things that we talked about. So have a look now. Do you have a, like a phone that works in this country? Do you have a telephone that works in this country? Let's do that and spontaneously we can talk on the phone and if it happens that mm -hmm. at that time you have time mm -hmm. and I have time, then we'll be friends. And if not, then we'll be trains that pass in the night. Then, 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 then what, then? If, if we don't meet up, then we'll be trains that passed in the night. Have you heard that phrase? Yeah, no, um, I did have had a phone. <laughs> Once upon a time? Yes. How important are you? You have two cell phones? Yeah. My are sister, you in the mafia? My sister arrived. Okay. Oh, shoot. So you got to get going in a minute? No, I think almost right now. Okay, what's your number real fast before? Uh, it is two seconds. Okay, cool. I'm calling you right now. Um, so when it goes through, mm -hmm. save me. Todd, T-O-D-D, two Ds. Okay, let's do this. Why don't we get in touch later and figure out if we're in the same area? And if so, we'll meet up. If not, then who knows? Okay. Maybe somewhere around the world. You put my number, your number in here. Mary B just sent you a text message for your uh, She talks to me way too much. <laughs> Please don't tell her that. <laughs> She's my neighbor back up. So is there any reason for the city other than just to visit right now or? No, not right now. I just I hadn't been back for a couple months, so I, I just moved back out of here in December. So just missed everyone, wanted to see. Everyone I worked with and all my friends. Um, so text some stuff out of it. Um, I will let you know where we end up later tonight. Okay. Um, Sounds good. So you're you off of school right now, or what's your deal? Well, I'm I'm I mean I'm going back to school in the fall. I'm out of school temporarily. Like for the summer. Yeah, let me know. Let me know where you go. I'll let you know where, where we go and whatever. All right. Sounds good. Yes. Love to meet you.
you as well. Hopefully, I will always, forever, be the cutest, best man. No, actually, maybe not. Well, if you ever meet a cuter, speaker, I, I hear what, I know. If you, you ever meet a cuter, better man than me on the street, marry him instantly. <laughs> but it doesn't exist, so I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry to have ruined street for you ever. Uh, I guess this is it. It's <laughs> um, a lot of pressure. Well, you put it on yourself. All right, my friend, she's across the street. Okay, cool. Okay. I'll meet you. All right, okay. bye. Anyways, let's um, go shopping. Yeah, let's do. We're probably gonna go to mansion tonight. Do just the guess. Do you have a card or something? Uh, we can do or numbers okay. here. Yeah, probably. Uh, you can have a code, I assume. I have two shots. Almost dead. Yeah, I know. Living life on the edge, right? Yes, you're so adventurous. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> really have two kids, right? Okay. That'd be a little weird. Why? Uh, I'm not in on kids. It would be a little weird. Yes. Six year old. Yeah. Just if you care about that. I don't know. One year two. One. If I care about that. <laughs> Yeah. Awesome. As well. Well, we'll hug yeah, you guys out. Yeah, Be nice better. to meet you as well. Come here. Oh, yes. We'll talk. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, I'm not kidding about the motivation. I mean, that's... Okay. We'll about talk. What? Listen. You told her what you did. I, I, no, he didn't I did. tell me. He said just, he speaks, and then I asked. I told her I didn't want to tell, but then she, like, kept, you know. They always ask. Yeah. I know, right? Wait, wait, wait. No, we'll talk. It'll be good. Okay. For sure. All right. All right. And we'll see you later tonight. I don't Hopefully. know you, and I trust you. You shouldn't. You, you shouldn't, but I appreciate it. Oh, don't scare me. <laughs> Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. You look highly elegant. Uh, really? Really, you do, actually. Todd. Nice. That was quite the, like, enthu... Hi. Hey. How are you doing? How are you doing? I was about to pull out a chair into your skateboard. Yeah. I assume you guys are friends. Nice to meet yeah, you. Todd. No, good to cousin. meet you. Yeah. Very good to meet you. Yeah. Uh, I am for the moment. I'm here for this month. Nice. So nice. yeah, for just a little yeah, bit. Where are you guys? Where are you guys headed right now? Um, we gotta go to the mansion. My sister works we're there. Home. Oh, we're going home. Okay. Fair enough. We're actually going there later tonight, but like late night though. Like for like the yeah yeah yeah. Are you gonna be there for shit? Are you gonna be there in a little bit or are you just for a little? Just for a little bit. Okay. Um, so would you go out a bit? Yeah. All right. Um, I'll get in touch with you. I'm not in town that long. Right. But um, I'll give you a ring. Let you know what's what's yeah. up. Is that cool? All right. Uh, one second. Here, just give me your number and then I'll text shoot it. you a text, yeah. Works, that's faster anyway. Right. What is it? Yeah. Now you add the context. And then like once we're all getting ready, I'll shoot you a text to what you're doing. Sure. Um, just call. Te okay, call it right now. That works. That's the best. Give it a second to go through. Okay. Am I awesome. Even I got that, okay. of course. Pleasure. Yeah, my thing is like glitches. Todd? What happens. Okay. You should have got me. Let's see. I hate my phone. I'll shoot you a text yeah, I think right I do. now. I think I have it. I'll shoot you a text right now. Perfect. I'll All catch right, you later tonight. Nice to meet you. Have a good day. Yep. So, how often do you get half days? I only have half days on Wednesday. Every Wednesday? Mm -hmm. Cool. Next Wednesday. Next we'll go grab a bite to eat. <laughs> Maybe a coffee. <sighs> I don't know. But It'll be yeah. totally PG. Uh, I'll um I'll bring I'll bring a Bible. I'll keep my hands in my yeah. pockets, <laughs> and well. I totally will. I, I promise you. I'll keep if you want me to. I'll literally keep my hands in my pockets the whole time. <laughs> when we order, I'll like pick it up with my mouth oh, just really? for you. Yeah, just to keep my promises, because you know I don't. I wouldn't want to break promises. Anyway. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. What's your number? I will. Text you, I'm going to Chicago this weekend. Uh -huh. We can talk while I'm in Chicago because I'm totally safe. I'm several states away. <laughs> and if it's fun, then we'll be friends. And if it's no fun, you can be like, fuck you, weird life coach guy. I never want to speak to you I again. Don't want, it will never be that way. Okay. I just feel bad. I'm, not, I'm very like, uh, what is this? I don't lie. And I'm very honest. I'm very gay. My boyfriend. I told you I was gay. <laughs> I did. I am. I'm totally gay. But you're not.
Oh, but I am. No, you are not. I'm totally, I'm, I'm even like a bottom, like I'm a submissive gay. I take it in the ass, it's terrible. Nice. No, I mean fun. <laughs> yeah, exactly, my point exactly. What? You're not gay. <laughs> no, I mean it's like, it's kind of demeaning. It feels very dominated, but like, I just, I like it. I can't, <laughs> I can't get over it, it's too much. Uh, so seriously, where are we here? All right, so what's your phone number real fast? <laughs> uh, I don't think I can give it to you. I feel bad. <laughs> I promise you, I cannot do anything over the phone to you. I'm not that good. Okay. What is it? It's five zero. I will call you right now. My name is Todd. Todd. You can save me as that or you can save me as a gay best friend okay. if you like, however you like. I'll probably be in as gay best friend. Okay, so that's a variety of different ways in which you might be getting a number. The biggest thing I want to emphasize to you with respect to the numbers, though, again, is that the numbers are not an end in themselves. They're a means to an end. So it's not just about getting the number. It's about getting the number in a way that will be solid. You want to do it as a natural outgrowth of the interaction, and you want to make sure you build some comfort, have a specific plan, qualify the girl, stay five minutes, all those kind of things. Okay, I don't want you to just get numbers. I want you to get solid numbers that will lead to dates, okay? So it's numbers for a purpose. Here are a few exercises designed to help you to get phone numbers and to learn to get phone numbers on a regular basis. Uh, the first one is very simply, ask for a phone number in every set that goes at least 10 minutes. A lot of guys, they have this idea of like, they're, they become like, they're telling about themselves, they're not selling anything. They're not actually closing, they're not asking for a number. You can have a great interaction, you don't get the number, you never see the girl again, it was a waste of your time. You have to be closing. So at a minimum, any set that goes at least 10 minutes, make yourself try and ask for at least a number. Um, as you get more advanced, you can even go to the point where you say, every set, no matter what, I'll ask for a number. Even if she blows me off off the open, I'm gonna ask for a number always. And that's not bad as well. The key thing here though, is to get yourself to closing. The next two exercises are sort of different approaches to getting a number. One is to, soft close it the whole way and sort of like baby step. The other way is to just jump in the deep end of the pool and go as hard as possible. And there's merit to both approaches and you should learn both approaches because both will develop different skills. So the next approach is open by asking for a number. Just walk over and be like, hey, I wanted to get your number. And what will happen here is you're basically trying too quickly. Uh, there may be the occasional random girl that just likes the way you look and will give you a number on that, but most of the time what you're gonna get is resistance and shit tests. But what this will teach you is how to overcome them. It will teach you how to change her mood and not her mind, how to back off, be funny, keep a good vibe, try to close again in a different way, et cetera, et cetera. So you're kind of fighting an uphill battle, but when you learn to close after being rejected at the start, um, then you can always turn rejections around later because you'll always be in a better situation than this throughout the rest of your game. So it's a really, really good exercise. You'll get a, the occasional number from it as well, just right off the bat, and then you'll get a lot of numbers as you learn to turn things around. Um, but it is very assertive, it is very like sort of um, masculine to just go straight for it in a way as well. So that, that's not so bad, and it's an excellent exercise. Final exercise for getting the number is to, rather than just going for it, you want to soft close your way the whole way there. And the idea is if you soft close well enough, you're gonna try and get her to ask you for your number or her to give, or to her to ask you to take her number. Okay, so what you wanna do though, is instead of saying what's your number, you'll say stuff like, you know, you seem like a really cool girl. Or you know, it was really fun talking to you, it'd be cool if we did this again sometime. Or be like, oh, that's really interesting that um, you're into this thing. Um, you'd actually be kind of a fun person to hang out and do that thing with those kind of things. So you want to hint at it, but not actually close. And by hinting at it, you're going to get them at some point to be like, you know what, you should take my number. Or you know what, what's your number? So the point is to hint and hint and hint until they actually close you. Now in, in reality, obviously what you want to do is in between you want to soft close, soft close, and then when it's on, just close yourself. Because that's going to be the highest percentage. But as we're drilling it, we're going to focus on the extreme cases. So that's why we do the start with going for the number even when it's too early. And that's why we do the soft close until they close you. If you can effectively do these drills, then getting a number is going to be a piece of cake for you.